Well, good afternoon there, YouTube. Happy Friday, TGIF. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, it's kind of a gloomy day here today. We had some snow showers overnight. Uh, a little bit did accumulate, of course, it melted off, you know. Uh, April snow showers, I guess. It's coming to norm around here in Iowa. It used to be kind of a rare event, but now it seems to be happening. through chemtrails and weather modification this is going to surprise you and nobody's gonna like it no boy I'm finally gonna get some thumbs down <laughs> but this is real nonetheless okay let me show you I keep my separate little too really clean okay here's some cigarette ashes okay I was just out here smoking I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear that up but <laughs> you can see how it ponds there on the top of my my lids here and we had like I said we had these snow showers last night okay and uh, so uh, it just had snow on it earlier and then it just melted in now it's evaporating I haven't lifted the lid and uh, so you can see the brown right here after it has evaporated okay this is a smaller little pool that was on top okay and uh, it's a larger one and it's evaporating right now and you can see the the rings that are around it here and you can see this here all right now uh, and you can see it's accumulated around all the surfaces where uh, the frost and the and snow was melting off and then evaporating more cigarette ashes. So you can see that, you know, but, you know, by no means is this a sterile surface, but I did I do keep this fairly clean. And uh, it was right next to my uh, front door. So <laughs> uh, last night before it was clean. So, and of course, you know, where I was raining, it's cleaning it off, right? So... Uh, so it was raining and snow showers. We had all kinds of mix going on last night, and so this is I haven't lifted the lid since uh, uh, early uh, last let's see, probably about 1 a.m. I think so uh, uh, That much accumulated in that short period of time in that little pool, okay And there's a fine film that you can see that's left over on the areas but this is where it condensed, okay, where it all kind of ran, ran in this way. It condensed as it did here as it melted off into a little pool here. So there you go, there's it. So if you wanted to, uh, you could uh, take a sample of it. Um, it's a very fine uh, powder, okay, very fine. I wouldn't recommend you putting it on your fingers, folks, okay. So uh, do not, uh, you know, do this at your own risk. Uh, <clears throat> I am too, uh, because I happen to be aware of these fine granules, okay, that only military can grind up to this fine of a powder to spread over such a wide area, okay, so here's that powder right there, okay, and it's ground up, an example of that is after 9-11 we had the anthrax attacks and the way that they caught the guy was that they did a sample of the anthrax powder and it was ground on, up so fine uh, that, uh, Oh, it could only have been made at a certain military base by a certain machine, and that's how they caught the guy. So, there you go. It can only be made in certain places. Okay? That fine of a powder right there. You can take a swab of it, bingo, bango, then you trace it back to what it is. That's not just, that's not dirt, folks. Okay? Now, you'll find this uh, in your area, too. Now, let me just show you. Uh, oops. Walking out to my car, another dark surface, black surface. Everything was pretty washed clean though because we had a lot of rain. But when it when it condenses, so you can see, you know, here on top of my car, that fine powder is also gathered. I want to show you over here. Same stuff here, okay. So, uh, it's a nice cool day here afterwards, though. I don't care one way or another, but it was worse the other day, <laughs> real bad, okay? So I've been trying, like I said, I try to keep all my surfaces clean so that 
when events happen, I can I can tell. You can see it on my wife's bumper. See that there? All the same powder. No, that's not road dirt. How did the road dirt get on top of my trash lid? And let's see, is there any? See, that's road dirt. Okay, that is what was left over from last night's storm. Okay, where the moisture was going into the little hole. Okay, so you guys should have your eyes open like this, folks, and paying attention. They're hoping that you miss stuff like this, okay? The stuff that's right in your own backyard, okay? Uh, everybody's looking for YouTube for answers and stuff. Dad got it, it's right there. Okay, here's my uh, lid. Okay, same powder. Okay, this is a little hard because it's got a porous surface, so it's gathered. See that there? Same powder. So this came out of our snow and rain last night, and it's on all the surfaces, I'm sure. Okay, just said it show, shows up. Uh, because of the compound Okay So it shows up on the darker surfaces But yeah, that's there you go folks, you know thumbs up thumbs down, you know what, That's what they're putting in your clouds All right, I'll walk back over here. So you see I try to I keep my place real really clean. Okay, it's cigarette butts go there Oops missed one You know as you can see, where it's gathered into the crevices there. That's your chem dust right there, folks. Get a good focus, sorry. Very fine metallic. Almost like a talcum powder, but finer than that even. Okay. You really don't want this on your fingers. Once it's on there, it uh, doesn't come off. I'm going to have to go and scrub my fingers. Because it's it's going to be on there until I do. So, uh, and now it's going to be on my phone. Shoot. <laughs> it's really not, it, you know, you don't have to treat it like radiation, but it's just not really good to get it on surfaces that other people can touch, you know, like my phone and... <laughs> And uh, I always wanted to uh, give you a good example. It's right there in front of you, folks. So if you see this, take a swab of it on a Q-tip and put it in a Ziploc baggie and send it off to be analyzed and see what they say. All right. I could tell you some more. But you guys got to do your research, too. You know, I ain't selling nothing. So uh, I'm sorry for the ads that have been popping up there. I've been trying to get those off of there. It's not on purpose. So uh, I'm not making a thin dime, folks. Wish I was, man, because I'm broke as a <laughs> broke as a joke, man. But you know, such is life. You know, I can't complain. Uh, everything's fine, fine and dandy, huh? Oh, and by the way, that stuff is going into your water. <laughs> that's coming out of your tap. Okay, that's why they got this Clean Water Act, and it's costing our town five and a half million dollars to redo our septic, or, or not a septic, so our sewage system, okay? They want us to add this certain thing or certain things to give us these options. It costs about five and a half million dollars for a town that's 1,800 people, and we have to pay for that, five and a half million, just to meet the new standards of clean water. You know, hey, I know we want clean water, but that's pretty expensive in the way they're trying to come off on it. It's like, well, after it's paid for, they're going to lower the bill back down or what? That never happens, folks. You know, So it's all a hustle. All a hustle, folks. So, uh, But this isn't. This is for real. Okay? I didn't put this there. Okay? You know, Geo Engineering Inc. put that up there, and it came right down on here. I'm showing you how. Well, take care, folks. Love y'all.